right, this is a video for how the homing procedure works on the Smart Spin 2K and in general, how it always knows where it is on the bike. Normally, when we first start up our Smart Spin 2Ks, we're in just a regular mode where it estimates its position between the min and the max power settings that you have. So if we go into our Smart Spin 2K app, and open up the settings. We'll look at this one and you'll see that down here we have our min brake watts and our max brake watts. And what those two do is the entire time that you're pedaling with the Smart Spin 2K, it's estimating between those two and it, and it tries not to spin the knob any lower in this case than 50 watts and any higher than what it would estimate for 1400 watts in this case. The other mode then that we have is homing mode and that's what we're going to talk about mostly today. So. You can do this from any app. We're gonna do it from the Smart Spin 2K uh, workout app. You'll see in most of the pairing screens, like Zwift has it on their pairing screen, other apps will have it on their pairing screen. We have this calibrate option. So if we press the calibrate option, it tells us to start pedaling for a second. And now if you look at the knob on the Smart Spin, you'll see, we'll hit the start and it's gonna start moving. And as soon as it starts moving, you can, you can let go. But what it did there was it found the lower position and now it's going to seek and find the upper position. And then once it does, it's gonna reverse direction and then go back to just one shift above uh, the minimum stop. And you can see on the screen then, calibration complete. If on Zwift, sometimes it may say, you know, that the calibration failed, and that's just because this takes a little bit longer than a normal coast down. Sometimes um, we'll get a calibration failed on Zwift. So now that it's calibrated, you can shift around and your shifting will work normally. But if we go and try to shift down below where our minimum is, you can see the knob won't move. I'm, I'm trying to shift at this, this entire time. So it won't go below there. We can, we can shift up and if we shift down, we can, I can keep pressing this shift button forever and it won't let me actually go any lower than, than the stop. It does the exact same thing at the maximum. So now once homing is complete here, I'll just shift this up a couple of times. So what happens when we repower the Smart Spin 2K? Because once power is lost on the Smart Spin 2K, it no longer knows where it is. So we'll just simulate that here by going and selecting Reboot Smart Spin 2K. So the Smart Spin 2K is going to reboot here. And then once it reboots, it detected uh, that I was pedaling here and now it's seeking to find the lower position and it shifted up again. So normally what you wanna do then is as soon as you start up your Smart Spin 2K or, or replug it in, you just wanna pedal just slow enough that it detects RPM and, and it'll go through that procedure. So that's basically how it works. Um, we do have one other mode with bikes like the Peloton. Um, It'll actually read the resistance directly off of the knob, but homing procedure is actually better than, than that because I've found that a zero resistance setting on the Peloton is, is not actually zero on the knob and uh, they will move around a little bit too. So, so it's best if you can to use the homing procedure um, and it's, it's been getting some pretty good feedback. So I think it's a good deal. All right, future Anthony here. So as I was editing that last video, I realized that I forgot to actually explain how you disable the homing function. So what you do is you open up the Smart Spin 2K app. You'll connect to your device. And then to disable homing, all you need to do is on any of the screens, click on 
the device itself here in this case it's it's smart bench up here in the top corner and you click manage power table this will bring up all of our power table options which is um, how you import and export power tables and how you load and save power tables. Most of this is for future use um, on uh, expansion plans that I have for SmartSpin 2K. But in this case, to disable homing, what we want to do is just clear active power table. And once you press that clear active power table button, it will also delete all of the associated information for homing the knob. So on the next reboot, it isn't going to uh, do any homing. And uh, depending on certain bikes, you may or may not actually want the homing feature active. Uh, I've heard of some that don't actually have like a low stop. So if they keep spinning to the left, they'll just keep spinning to the left and there's, there's no stop there. So homing obviously doesn't work on those types of bikes. But anyway, that's it. Hope that you've enjoyed the video. Have a great day.